Chronic lymphocytic leukemia patients generally have a better outlook compared to other cancer types, with a higher five-year survival rate of about 83%. There are two types of CLL, one being a slower growing type and the other a faster growing type. The slower growing type features higher lymphocytes with slightly low platelets, neutrophils, and red cells while the faster growing type produces too many CLL cells in the blood that prevent proper function of red cells and platelets. With the two different types of CLL, patients may have very different patient journeys depending on their disease. While some CLL patients experience very gradual disease progression and are actively monitored during a watch and wait phase, other patients may experience a more expedited CLL progression and will need more frequent treatment. So for, for many people, CLL is a very manageable disease. Uh, like I said, some people have had CLL longer than I've been a doctor and have needed no treatment for it. Um, however, there are people with CLL that go on to have a lot of difficulty from it, including not doing well with more than one therapy or needing really new advanced therapies, so like something called CAR T cell therapy. So for any individual person, you can never say how it's gonna turn out for them. But we do use our experience taking care of lots of people with CLL to make a kind of educated guess uh, as to if this person's gonna be someone that's gonna expect to need a lot of treatment in their lifetime or maybe no treatment in their lifetime. CLL research continues to advance and clinical trials bring more refined treatments for patients to improve both CLL symptoms and treatment side effects over time. Ask your CLL specialist if you have questions about research advances and check reliable sources like the Patient Empowerment Network, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and the American Society of Hematology and American Society of Clinical Oncology Annual Conferences. Start here. Visit PowerfulPatients.org.